Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we today? How are we? I know I didn't put out I'm going live at nine this morning. It's been a morning already, guys. Um, why? Because yesterday was my birthday. Hello. And so it was a bit of an effort today, <laughs> to say the least. So um, I just want to say good morning, good morning. Good morning, wherever you are, for those of you who are on the replay, make sure you do remember to leave your comments in the comment thread. Tell me where you are, what you're doing and how you're getting on. And for those of you who are just logging in, good morning, happy bank holiday Monday, even though it probably doesn't feel like a bank holiday Monday, it probably feels very much the same as what it always does. Uh, being in this lockdown situation, it is a little bit um, different. Things are have changed for us, haven't they? So, so yeah. So this is your girl, Yvonne Michelle, and we are... Um, in lockdown and this is I don't even know what week it is probably week 10 or something ridiculous like that but this is morning inspiration and it is movement Monday what does that mean it means this is even though it's bank holiday it means that there is significant movement that needs to be taken and Monday is a day that that it has been um noted by professionals noted by by people who study a human behavior that monday for some reason is one of the days that's hard for people to get into action harder to get into the swing of what they need to get into so today is movement monday and today we're talking about you have not because you ask not you have not because you ask not Right. So remember last week we had that beautiful mantra. All things are working together for my good. And I think that that mantra is such a powerful mantra. This week we're going to be looking at our action steps. We have not because we ask not. So what is it that we're asking for? What is it that we are being intentional about? All right. So. One of the things that I understand in life is this, is that we know that we know that there's the word that says, write the vision down, make it plain. So he who reads it, he or she reads it, will run with it. Right. So and, and it will not tarry, but it will surely come. So we know that we have to do something. We know that we have to get into action. We know that we have to write the vision down. But what is the vision is make the vision plain. What does that mean? It means. Right. So I want to be an author. What does that mean? That, right, I'm going to give you some examples. I want to be an author. There are some people that watch that want to, to be writers that want to be to be a writer but what does that mean to them so what I'm asking you to do is you have not because you ask not so somebody might write I'm an author I've got three I've got three um writings out there so I've got I'm an author of three books all right but at, is that what I am telling people is that what people are finding out is that what pe attracts people to me no it's not because I'm a speaker and the speaker is what I talk about the speaking is what you see you come here every day you see me at nine o'clock I'm giving you inspiration and that's what I do all right so that's my vision I'm going to come on here I'm going to do this at nine o'clock every morning and I'm going to speak to people that's my vision. But you have to make, you have to go deeper because anybody can write. Do we agree? I'm using this as an example. So it could be anything that you're doing. You could be a DJ, you could be a coach, you could be um, uh, somebody that, that, that has multiple streams and, and, and does lots of different things. It could be anything. But in everything that you do, you need to be specific and to the point. Write the vision down, make it play. You have not because you ask not. So sometimes we're getting frustrated with where we are in life. Sometimes we're like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to study counselling and you study counselling, study counselling, you get your qualifications and then you're still not working. You've got the qualifications, you're still not doing it. Why aren't you doing it? Because you haven't asked specifically for what you want. Yes, you've got the, you, you might be a, a consultant, a coach or counsellor, 
but it's more than that, isn't it? So ask for what you want. Remember when we were children and we would see something, we'd want a sweet in the sweetie shop and we'd ask our parents, right? Can I have that please? Right, but it wasn't like all of the sweets in the shop it was one in particular and you pointed that out and you were very specific as to what you wanted. And if your parents, if you said, or say even this scenario, say you ask someone, can you buy me a packet of cheese and onion crisp? And they come back and they give you ready salted, you're gonna be disappointed. It is not gonna fulfill what you need. It's not gonna fulfill the depths, the desires, the, the achievements that you want to because you haven't you've given this is what I want but you've got something else so you have not because you ask not what is it that you want that you haven't asked for and when I say the asking I'm asking you to think about the universe the atmosphere God the creator when we speak because we are powerful beings when we speak a thing it comes to us it's called we call it the power, the, the law of attraction. Some believe it's uh, a religion. It, well, it does come from the Bible. It does that that concept. But we are powerful. I keep saying this: powerful human beings, and we have the wealth of the world within us. And I want you to see that you have the wealth of the world within you. And so, when you don't make it specific, then you 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 attract things that it comes to you but it's not to the dimension that you need it's not to the dimension of where you should be going to it's not to the dimension of your your capacity of what you're able to fulfill or to 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 give so you ask not you have not because you ask not so what is it that you're not asking for what is it about your journey? What is it about where you are in your life? What is it why you are not there? What are you not asking for? See, my job here as, as an inspirational person, as a, as a motivational speaker, transformational speaker, is to ask the questions that you don't ask yourself, is to ask it in a way or ask you things that you or ask you to to or discover should I say the things that you're not saying when you're saying stuff so it's my job to pick that out so I'm picking out this morning what is it that you're not asking for that you need to move to the next stage of where you are in your relationships to move to the next stage of where you are in your business to move to the next stage of where you are in your life it doesn't matter where you are what is it that you are not asking for and I want you to take a moment today all right, because this is this is Movement Monday to take a, a moment and think about what it is and put that down as your action step, the next action step for tomorrow. That's what it is. Or to actually, no, not even tomorrow. It's for today, because even though it's bank holiday Monday. It requires movement. If you're, especially if you're a small business owner, you're somebody that's just starting out. You're somebody that wants to start a business. It's somebody that that wants to progress quickly. You need to be the the the, the bird that catches the worm. When everybody else is on holiday, you're on the grind. You're on you're on your thing, and you're asking specifically for what you want. What is it you have not? Because you ask not. You have not because you ask not. So what is it that you need to be asking for? Right. Go in yourself. Go in yourself. I don't even. Um, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to because I know that there are comments. I know that there are comments on the thread. I know that there are comments on the thread this morning. So I'm just gonna quickly flick over because it's not coming up for me this morning. I wanna see what your comments are in the thread. What is it that you, why is it that you have not? What is it that you need to, to ask for? All right, so we've got some comments. We've got some comments here. Right, so Chesney's saying, yes, you are right. Hello, sweetie. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody here. 
I just want to thank you for being here this morning. What is it that you're not asking for? I want you to really think about it, be specific, write it down, write it down in your daily journal. What is it that you are not asking for and it is what you need to get you to the next level? It's going to take you, it's going to be the next step towards. What is it? 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 Asking for. I want you right, what is it? I want you to think about that. Okay. All right, my darlings, we are out of time, but this is one for you to move. This is Movement Monday, and this is something for you to do for yourself today, right? And it's the start of the week, so I'm pacing you in. We're moving gently. We've had the weekend off. I've had the weekend off. I've celebrated my birthday. And now we're moving. So every day we're going to be moving towards the higher goal to achieving more. So I want to know, guys, are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me this morning? If you're with me this morning, let's go on the journey. Let's do what we need to do and let us fulfill our goals and let us have, let us have what we desire. Let us create that because at the beginning of this, I said, we are creative beings. We come from the creator. So therefore we have the power to do what we need to do. It's all within us. So ask for what you want. Be bold enough to take it and don't have this, oh, I just want to be an author. I want to be an author. What kind of author do you want to be? Do you want to be an author of fiction, non-fiction? What kind of author do you want to be? Do you want to just be an author? Do you want to be a best-selling author? What kind of best-selling author do you want to be? Do you want to be on the Times 100 list? Do you want to be on the Amazon list? Be specific. You have not because you ask not. Start thinking about your life and be bold enough to make your vision big. Make it bigger than you. Make it so big that your heart starts to rush. Make it so big that you think, oh my gosh, this thing is so much bigger than who I am and leave it there. Just create the vision. Think about this. The world, we are told that the world was created in six days and God rested on the seventh. And this is where I'm going to leave it. And every day we are told and some believe and we believe that this is how the process of the world was created. Now, when you look out of your window, what do you see? Do you think that this was and you think about the world, the world has evolved over time. Right. We have evolved as human beings over time and now we've got technology and all of these things. But it had to start somewhere and it started with the vision of the world. The world is huge. How many countries do we have in this world? And there are planets outside of us. So I want you to think about that creation. If our creator created that, what is stopping you from creating that big vision that you have? What is it? My friend, it's only you. It's only you that stops it. So allow your mind to grow. Allow your mind to expand. And don't be scared of who you are. Embrace it. You have not because you ask not. Is your vision too small? Ask yourself that. Is my vision too small? Ask yourself that and come up with a question. Because you see where you see me, you look at me, you come here, you listen to me. One of the reasons why I do this and I'm doing this every morning is because I, I've always done this, but I had to get more specific. I had to get clearer and I had to start speaking. My vision is huge. It's huge. It's bigger than me. And it makes my heart like this. It pounds and I'm like, <sighs> and I have to take time. I'm running a global movement a global movement and have connected with different countries all over the world. I never, I always wanted that, but never thought I could do that. But yet I'm doing that. So what is it that you are dreaming of, but you're putting it to the side and thinking, I'll never achieve that. I want you to go back, make that vision clear, write it down. You have not 
because you ask not. Speak what you need into existence and be the creator that God, the spirit, the universe, whatever you want to call it, right, has predestined you to do bef before you were even created in your mother's room. It has been stamped. It has been approved. So I want you to think about what is it that you need to do? You have not because you ask not. So today, start asking. This is your girl, Yvonne Michelle. I'm out. I'll be back tomorrow with Tuesday's Truth on Morning Inspiration. Ciao for now. Have a fantastic bank holiday. Enjoy yourself. And remember, put these questions to yourself. We're going on a journey. We're doing something together. We're growing. We're moving. This is a movement of powerful people. Ciao.